I, I don't want to take anything away from uh, you know the uh, young lady who won mm-hmm. um, that race. I think she deserved it. And to be mm-hmm. honest with you, I think she still would have won even I, if she I, stood up. I, I, I thought ready. so too. I you, thought you so know? too. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Y'all back here with Vaughn and my boy Randall, the 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 major academic advisor here at the University of Maryland. Man, we holding it down. Um, Paul, the maestro, he is absent today. He's out in New York, back home. Um, I don't know what he's doing out there, but he's supposed to be here, and we're going to get him for it. <laughs> um, we trying to do some upgrading, man. Uh, first of all, when we got on campus, man, hopefully I'll remember to put some of the scenery up so that y'all can see, like, the football team getting ready and practicing, you know what I'm saying, for, for some of their big games. Y'all know college football has started back up. Um, I'll put up a clip so y'all can see how we're going. Y'all see that uh, Randall got a mic now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Randall got a mic. I'm wearing my lapel Come mic on. that um, I usually wear when I'm doing my, my just single stuff. But um, but Randall got a mic now also, so hopefully y'all can get some better sound quality. We trying to grow, right? I told y'all we're going to try to grow. We said we're going to try to get them better quality. Um, <laughs> we're doing what we can. So that being said, we got some items on the table to discuss. And... Let's discuss a fun item real quick. <laughs> Yo, I'm bugging. Like, like trying to get my thoughts. Yeah, together. I'm trying to get my thoughts together too. Um, um, so, track and field. We dealing with the Olympics. Um, you know, the, and, and for those of y'all who know, like. Track and field was my life when I was in high school. I was two-time All-American. Um, I was a high school track and field coach for a few years. You know, uh, we were able to take get some girls that made it as far as the state championships or what have you. And as a matter of fact, um, one of the, the year after I stopped coaching, some of the same girls that we had started their training process the, the year after, um, they were able to win um, a state championship in one of the relays, man. So. Um, you know, so shout out to them over there at Freeport High School, right? Shout Freeport, out Freeport right? High School, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Freeport, but we still got, but you know that Uniondale is home for all my Uniondale people that's watching. <laughs> don't, don't, like, don't get it twisted. My little brother still runs for Uniondale, and he's holding it down. My my old coach is still coaching over there at Uniondale High School. Okay. Um, one of my boys that I used to run with, and uh, we did a lot of major things together, relays or what have you, Elijah Blue, he's still running for you. I mean, not running. <laughs> He's not running for Unity High School, but he's coaching now, right? And he's even coaching my little brother, which is crazy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, and then also, shout out to, and watch this. This is crazy, right? Shout out to Natasha Hastings because I don't know if you saw her inside the 400 meter final, but yo, that's AP Randolph in Brooklyn. Um, you know, I remember I she used that. to be okay. at the at the Armory when I used to run at the Armory. She that's would be crazy. running at the Armory and stuff like that. That's and crazy. to see that she now has a couple of relay gold medals under underneath her belt. And I mean, she didn't get the medal, but uh-huh. it's just good to see that somebody that you shared, you know what I'm saying, a track with somebody that you shared space sure. with. Is, has gotten to that level For sure. um, is, is pretty amazing. But what I want to talk about in that very same race is, like, what do you... You saw the race. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of debate as to whether or not... Like, even my girl has been debating me about, <laughs> yo, sh- should the, the girl... I forgot her name, but her name is... She's from the Bahamas, right? Should she have won the race over Allison Felix. Mm-hmm. Was it fair for her to get the W? Um, because a lot of people are saying that she fell and, or she dove into, I really don't think that she she dove. I don't think she did it on purpose. I think she just lost control of her body right. because she was exerting so much energy uh-huh. and lost her footing and fell into the finish line. And it seems like that might have allowed her to cross before Allison Felix mm-hmm. uh, because Allison was gaining on her. What are your thoughts? So, so I'll say the first thing, man, is would we be having a conversation if the person be looking to win one? You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so that that's one thing, mm-hmm. one thing to think about. about. If too. Allison Felix mm-hmm. won the same way, mm-hmm. and we from the U.S., so he's rooting for the U.S., would we even be questioning her methods? Mm-hmm. Right. So, I, I mean, 
I, I don't want to take anything away from uh, you know the uh, young lady who won mm-hmm. um, that race. I think she deserved it. And to be mm-hmm. honest with you, I think she still would have won even I, if she I, stood up. I, I, I thought ready. so too. I you, thought you so know? too. Um, yeah. But at, at the same time, I don't even consider myself a, a, a track and field purist. Mm-hmm. Right? I, I never mm-hmm. ran track mm-hmm. or, or did anything in the field. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, in my mind, I, I think I think track and field, and, and particularly the 400 meter, um, 100 and yard dashes, and all that. Um, yeah. you, you win the race with your legs, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. I, I think I think mm-hmm. in my mind, I, the ideal way to win and close out a race is upright. Mm-hmm. Right, so I, I I agree with you, Vaughn. Mm-hmm. I feel like her momentum was just kind of taking her down that way, mm-hmm. and she knew she was going to mm-hmm. lose kind of that edge mm-hmm. if she didn't kind of thrust mm-hmm. herself forward a little bit. So, not to take anything away from her, but I, I think I think winning the race with your legs is the way that the game was created. Mm-hmm. To I mean, when you look at baseball and you got somebody sliding in the home base. Mm-hmm. Right, it's because that gives you a competitive edge. Mm-hmm. Right, it's a part of the mm-hmm. game. It's a, it's a, a, a kind of an evasive mm-hmm. tactic to make sure that you score. Mm-hmm. Right, so I, I don't think that was ever meant to be a part of track mm-hmm. and, and field, particularly mm-hmm. track. So for me, I would prefer it not. Mm-hmm. But again, I, I think I think she put as much work into mm-hmm. preparation, mm-hmm. Um, mentally. Physically and everything else that I, I would never mm-hmm. want to take anything away from. Yeah. Now. Me being the track and field purist, <laughs> like when I saw her fall and she got over the line by falling, it didn't really bother me. And I don't okay. I, because I think for most people who have run track and field seriously, we see we see people who have dropped all the time. You know what I'm saying? Right. But and we and we know that for us, they're measuring really your your torso, torso, you know what I'm saying? Right. And the girl, she does have the height and she kind of got ended up in a forward position a bit more than she usually would have been because she was falling over and she's already like 6'1", mm-hmm. right? So um, I think that that certainly helps, but so so when she fell, it didn't it didn't bother me that much maybe because I'm so used to it. I've seen people fall in other races and right. get back up and then win the race. And uh, but somebody was like, yo, it does seem a little bit. They didn't want to say unfair. My girl was saying like she didn't want to make it seem like it was unfair, so to speak, because mm-hmm. it's not like the girl from Bahamas. She didn't do anything that was illegal. Mm-hmm. She didn't do anything that was cheating, and it didn't look like she was trying to do anything dishonest. No. She was just like you said. She was just giving it all she could, right. but um, ended up exerting so much energy that she lost control of her body. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to um, to pardon the interruption while I was on my way here, as a matter of fact, on their their podcast. And I think they said something that, to me, is very. Um, I, I, I was saying if there was going to be a solution, I would think that the solution would have to be the same thing. And my thing would just be you have to finish the race in an upright position. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. that would be my only thing. And then because you you would then put the runner in a position to where, all right, we're not saying that you can't win or what have you, and we're not saying that you can't fall down because that happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. But to finish the race, you have to finish in an upright position if we're sure. going to consider you to have to have won. Now right. that can still be tricky, you Damn. know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> what do we consider an upright position? And this is why I don't have a problem with with them having to be in control of their body. Because even when we talk about something like football, in football you get judged. You, you like in order to get a touchdown or what have mm-hmm. you, or for it to be called a considered a catch, there's a certain amount of control that you have to ex- exhibit uh, for us to say that you actually have successfully caught the ball, right? So mm-hmm. I don't have them a problem if they now say, listen, we got to change the rule up in track and field a little bit, and the runner has to show that they are in control of their body right. when they when they go go across the finish line. And mm-hmm. I I don't think it has to be a lot of control. Mm-hmm. I think it just has to be something where like you didn't hit the floor. Like okay. before, before you cross the like, your knees never touch the floor. From your ankle on up, like your your feet were on the floor. Even if you're stumbling, right? Because mm-hmm. she was stumbling. But I don't even know if I have enough space to explain, right? <laughs> but if she's like stumbling, but she's still upright like this and right. gets across and then falls, I'd be cool with that. But like you said, it's kind of weird that yo, she fell, dropped to the ground, her knees right. on the ground, and then she's like stretching over. Like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, it, you, you exactly right, man. So mm-hmm. I feel like 
that rule change, I wouldn't mm-hmm. mind. And, and the only thing with me um, is that you gave the example of football. Mm-hmm. It's almost to the point now where you don't even know where a cat, what a catch is, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so mm-hmm. what you know mm-hmm. to be a catch, mm-hmm. right, by definition, mm-hmm. is no longer a catch. So, right. so I, I think as, as much as I'd be in favor of some sort of rule change mm-hmm. or, or maybe there's no rule that exists, mm-hmm. you know, maybe it's just something that, that needs to be clarified or mm-hmm. something that's that's you know created mm-hmm. but I, I think it'll get a little tricky e- mm-hmm. even with that where you know <laughs> defining what exactly is upright might you know that that needs to be clearly mm-hmm. defined mm-hmm. but you know there could be some merit to that mm-hmm. um because I, I do think at the end of the day um you know you don't want any sort of controversy around anybody's work. right right you, you know what i'm saying so i mm-hmm. i think to a certain extent it could even benefit uh, you know, the runners, mm-hmm. you know, if they're able mm-hmm. to say, well, instead of, you know, uh, minimizing my accomplishment mm-hmm. by talking about, oh, you know, uh, she, she didn't really deserve that, this mm-hmm. and that, that we're celebrating mm-hmm. the fact that she mm-hmm. still got a gold medal yeah. for, for her country. Yeah. And, and I didn't even check. I don't know if you checked the standards, man, but that might be the only one that Bahamas got so far. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. assuming. It, 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 or... or Relatively few, right? Because like US, U.S. been tearing it up this year. You know, we we've, we've lost some in, some weird ones that we aren't really used to losing, like the women's soccer, soccer or something, soccer, like or, or like yeah, the, the, the outdoor soccer. I mean, on um, volleyball, but um, but man, there's some stuff that we've been dominating with. It's like okay, we've had wins in it before, but we've been dominating like on 